is still insisting not to allow us to pass through Security Council because they have a veto power. And we hope that with the position of the Palestinian people, including the society position, and the position of the Arab people, as known as the Arabs, and the commitment of the Palestinian people to join the community of nations will be translated in allowing us to become a full member at the UN. If that is not going to be possible because of the uh, negative position of one powerful member state in the Security Council, we all know that we have a path through the General Assembly. We have been consulting with a large number of countries. They are advising us to go through this path. And our leadership, which has completed a round of uh, important discussions in Cairo, including with Lady Ashton and her team representing the European Union, and also completed other sessions and meetings in Amman yesterday with uh, Mr. Tony Blair on behalf of the Quartet, and there will be other meetings with the Palestinian leadership under the leadership of President Mahmoud Abbas will take all these issues for further discussions and deliberations by the Palestinian leadership. And the final decision will be taken in the next few days as to which path we will follow, whether it is through the Security Council for full membership or whether through the General Assembly that will improve our situation further and strengthen our position while we are still marching for a full membership that will eventually take us to the Security Council. All these options are still available to us. We are fine-tuning our options, and we will make the final decision soon. And once that decision is announced by President Abbas, we will unroll what needs to be done, whether through the Security Council first or whether through the General Assembly first. Uh, Mr. Mr. Ambassador, Mr. Ambassador, yes, Mr. Ambassador, yes, Mr. Yes, Ambassador, yes. Mr. Ambassador yes. uh, is if, whether you go to Security Council or the General Assembly, is Secretary General Ban Ki-moon going to support your bid? Have you uh, actually got his support so far? Uh, in, in my request for the Secretary, Secretary General to meet my brothers from this uh, campaign, he sent a letter to me in which he expressed his unequivocal support for the position of Palestine and whatever Palestine will do. And he pointed out correctly that the decision of admitting states at the United Nations is a decision that will be done by member states, whether through the Security Council or the General Assembly, and he will respect and honor the position of member states when they decide what uh, they will do once we submit the letter or application or draft resolution that we will do as soon as we can. The words in Ramallah that they were, going to, they were going to submit their application, you're saying that that has not happened, that it will not happen yet? There are many words from many places, but what I'm telling you is that we are deliberating all these details and it is not yet finalized, and once it is finalized, it will be announced. But what is really uh, clear is that we have the right to join the community of nations as a full member, and our quest by coming to the UN is for that objective, but the details of how to accomplish it is still left to, uh, to the consultations, whether we will go through the expressway directly to the Security Council, or whether we will take the local road which will take us through the General Assembly, which eventually will take us to the Security Council. All these are options are available to us. We are consulting extensively and uh, fine-tuning all of our options, and the final decision will be announced when we uh, announce it, and President Abbas will announce it, and we will act in accordance with that decision when it is announced. Ambassador, what's the number of uh, countries that recognized uh now. Uh, if, I, if I am not mistaken, either 129 or 130, and the number is increasing, and in the next few days, we are expecting uh, a number of additional countries to recognize us. And in this connection, how many countries do we have at the UN, member states, who have countries recognizing them in excess of 130 countries? I believe that this is a small club, that Palestine belongs to it, and yet, we are not a full member at the United Nations. But I can also tell you 
that the number of countries recognizing us so far is almost double the number of uh, countries recognizing the State of Israel. Do you think that the vote will be on uh, September 20th? We will have a vote? Or vote or where? The, the General Assembly? Or the General or Assembly? Assembly? Well, I, I, I don't really know. You see that these things, if the situation is ripe and the decision is made to go through a certain path, then we immediately move into the technicalities of trying to make it happen as quickly as possible. What I'm saying is that we don't have final decision yet as to which, up, which path that we will follow, will follow first, whether it is the Security Council or the General Assembly. We need to decide that first. After we decide that, we jump immediately into the technicalities of uh, of uh, uh, how it could be done and how it could be done in the fastest possible way. Of course, if you are uh, alluding to the idea that uh, floated maybe last week, that if the path is the General Assembly and maybe the resolution to be adopted before the beginning of the general debate, unfortunately, the decision that has not been made that the General Assembly is first yet. So therefore, the technicalities of dealing with that possibility and the date of doing it is, is, a, is a matter of not available for discussion because this is like putting you know, the cart before the horse. So we have to make the decision first as to which path to follow, and then we will deal with the details. I know that many of you have talked to you over the weeks so many times. Uh, it is exciting time because you know you want to know which path we will follow and I cannot really share this information with you but I promise you once the decision is made you will be the first group of journalists that will be told about that yeah. can, I, can I just, just I want to make and add one, one more issue from the our people um, despite that we respect all the tactics of the PLO we're calling on the PLO to go to the Security Council because we do not accept the blackmail of Obama on our nation by vetoing the decision on in the Security Council. So our nation is saying, go to the Security Council, we'll back you up, and we're asking Obama to his back. Okay. Yeah, he will give his name, yes. Ambassador, how tempting are, have there been the offers that have been made to try to get, uh, get you to uh, not go this route, you know, in terms of maybe starting discussions or, you know, just things? Are, is it really close, something that's close, something you can really sort of see uh, being accepted that we head off a vote? Well, you see, I'm not uh, party to such uh, a picture that you are describing, so therefore I cannot uh, share with you uh, any meaningful information in this regard. Yes, sir. يقول فيها اخترنا الذهاب إلى مجلس الأمن وللحصول على عضوية كاملة هل معنى ذلك أن القرار اتخذ في هذا الاتجاه؟ أنا الرئيس محمود عباس يكرر الموقف الرسمي الفلسطيني ومهوم بشكل كبير من الموقف الشعبي الفلسطيني أننا لنا الحق الطبيعي في أن نأخذ العضوية الكاملة في الأمم المتحدة وأن نصبح عضوا كاملا العضوية في الأمم المتحدة هذا حقنا الطبيعي والتاريخي والقانوني ولذلك نحن نسعى إلى الحصول على هذا الهدف كذلك نحن نعرف على أن هناك عقبات تعترضنا في هذا الهدف عبر مجلس الأمن عبر المواقف المعلنة التي أعلنتها الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية والتي تبلغنا إياها في الاجتماعات المغلقة على أنها ستعطم على مجلس الأمن القيادة الفلسطينية تدرس كل ذلك وتكرر الحق الطبيعي لنا بأننا لنا الحق أن نأخذ العضوية التي تتطلب أن نمر عبر مجلس الأمن ولكننا كذلك نملك الحق كشعب فلسطيني وكقيادة فلسطينية أن نحدد أي السلك وأي الطرق التي نريد أن نلتجئ إليها للوصول إلى نفس الهدف لأنه إن سلكنا على سبيل المثال الذهاب عبر الجمعية العامة هي الطريق الأطول للوصول إلى نفس الهدف الذي سيصلنا في نهاية المطاف إلى المجلس الأمن لأنه لا يمكن أن نأخذ العضوية إلا بتوصية بقرار مجلس الأمن وبتصويت في الجمعية العامة بثلثي الأعضاء هذه مسائل كلها تحت الدراسة والتمحيص والقيادة الفلسطينية تكلم بكل الوضوح كما تفعل دائما للشعب الفلسطيني أن الهدف ونهاية الطريق هي واحدة 
العضوية الكاملة عبر مجلس الأمن لكن الطرق والتفاصيل للوصول إليها قد تكون متعددة وسنسلك أفضل الطرق التي تمكننا من إنجاز نصر كبير للشعب الفلسطيني على طريق الوصول إلى إنهاء الاحتلال وإنجاز الاستقلال الكامل والعضوية الكاملة للشعب الفلسطيني أعتقد أن انتهينا شكرا وإلى اللقاء